What is up guys, Gaming Borchick here, your host on this channel. Let's get into the video. Today we are going to be cleaning my, wait for it, 1966 Mustang Coupe. She's a little bit dirty, but well, we'll just fix that. For today's tutorial, what you'll need, a pressure washer, is a wash mitt, a drying towel, buffing rag, cleaning towel, wax pad, soap that will foam, glass cleaner, tire shine, wax, brush, foam cannon, detail brush, two buckets, and a bucket with a grit guard. Let's get into the video. So guys, for the first part of the video, we need to douse the car with water. So we're gonna douse. Now that your car is all doused, Attach your foam cannon, begin foaming. Now that you got your foam on your car, let it kind of soak into the paint and let it kind of pull everything down. While it's doing all that, you got your soap bucket and you got your great guard bucket. It's not very soapy, but reapply the foam on the car and you'll get the same application. Now I like to work my way up to down, but some people are different. There are different dirts on each levels of each car. So the dirtier your car is, probably it's closer to the bottom of the car. Now I'm going to grit guard it. Get that Mustang in one. That's some pretty like. Cool, and that's one side of the car finished. Now let's work on the rest of the car. Time to ring out again. Time to ring out again. Time to ring out again. Now everything's starting to dry. That could be kind of a problem because, well, we don't want to leave soap on a dried car. Won't look as good for that show quality look. Now we're going for today. Side to side pattern works the same. Let me go fast, let me go slow. It's all on preference, really. Now that you got all the body scrubbed in and paint, uh, the paint is looking pretty decent now, grab your water or power washer supply. Do a side to side pattern, work your way up to down. Your body. Alrighty, now that your soap is rinsed off, let's get your drying towel and do a side-to-side -side pattern. It's easier to start up than down. That's really all on forever. Now I don't know about you, but this car looks pretty good. So um, this is the part of the video where we're going to be talking about tire shine. Now you can see that it's still pretty greasy, but that's okay. We're reapplying. So. Um, this is a gel based stuff. Don't worry about it getting it like that. We're just scrubbing it in. This is really good tire shine. I love it to death. Uh, I don't get the spray. The spray is crap. After a few months, it doesn't look as good. Alrighty, now that your tires look pretty dang good, um, totally recommend this product, totally fantastic. If you want to get this type of brush, I got mine at Walmart, um, it's cheap, it's inexpensive. This ends that portion of the video, we'll continue on to the waxing portion of this video. Now we've reached the waxing portion of our video. Now apply your wax directly to the pad and work on a backward and forward motion. Do not do swirls. Do not do karate kid. No karate kid. Another thing I want to add is that you want the paint to look dull. If it's not getting dull, you're not adding enough wax. Now we're going to let that sit for about five minutes. So what, during that five minutes, we're going to work on the fender. Okay? Do that fender. Back 
in forward motion. No swirls. Now with chrome, don't add it to it. We'll talk about that later. Now that it's been five minutes, grab your clean. I'm emphasizing the clean. You do not want to have tags. Rip those off. No tags. No bueno. No good. That'll scratch your car. You don't want that. These are nice rags. So, if you ever want one of these chemical guys, look them up on Amazon. Pretty good stuff. So, I'm going to fold it one more time. This is going to be our buffing. We're going to buff the paint. Now, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to put it rub up against this part, so just be careful. I sure hope you remember what panel we did next. I think it's the door, right? Wrong. The port, remember? We're working our way forward. Back. Top to bottom. Boom. Last. Now, if you've come here to learn how to wash your car and do a wax job, you're in the right place. Alright, we're still applying wax, so get applying. Alrighty guys, this is my trick for chrome. So this is a foam based glass cleaner and I recommend just spraying on directly. Again, apply directly to chrome bumpers. The smaller stuff just apply straightly to the rear. Alright guys, your car's all clean, you ready for that car show? Safety first!